guys, so today I'm finally going to give you a recipe. This one I'm going to show you is one that I got a lot of requests for on Instagram when I showed you guys what I was having for dinner last night. You guys were like, oh, please make it. I have a hard time making videos because it's just hard for me to try to get dinner ready and film a video when I've got kids running around, but today is Sunday. Hubby took Olivia out. I'm gonna show you guys how I make these vegan quesadillas. These are not really quesadillas because there's not, there's not gonna be any cheese, but they're still gonna be really fresh and delicious. Delicious. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy it because it's super easy It's a great lunch idea for you and your kids or just for you. It's a little hard if you go to work But um, I really really like it. So let's get started to start up your fajita quesadillas You're going to need some fajita veggies. I've chosen red onion with red bell pepper and I've cut them very very thinly and drizzled a very small amount of olive oil and I'm just going to caramelize them up in a pan. That is what your veggies should look like when you are done caramelizing them. Now I'm making a really yummy black bean puree so I'm just going to stick some black beans, a little bit of salt, a little bit of lemon and cilantro in a food processor. Now we simply blend it up. I love having a food processor. It's made my life so much more easy. Now I have two tortillas here. I will be posting a recipe on how to make your own tortillas really soon. But what I'm doing is I am just putting the pureed black bean mousse onto the tortilla. You don't want the layer to be too thick or your quesadilla will end up a little bit on the soggy side. So be a little bit, you know, like a nice layer but not too much. Now it's time to add on those beautiful fajita veggies. Just put as much as you want on top. I added a little bit of fresh cilantro as well. Now I'm just adding a really thin layer of beans to the top part of my quesadilla and then I'm just gonna place it on top and now the really crispy magic is about to happen. Now we're going to put our quesadilla on the pan just like we would do a usual cheese quesadilla. Um, don't put any extra oil, I find it really unnecessary and it just works really well to not add any oil in my experience so keeps it a little bit lower fat and healthier for you. There are beautiful and crispy vegan fajita quesadilla is. I'm cutting it up with a pizza cutter because I find this just works the easiest. It's a lot easier than a knife. I'm just gonna cut it up into quarters. I've made a little bit of space in the middle to add a little bit of fresh lettuce and some juicy tomatoes. All right, you guys, here it is. It's super delicious and yummy and scrumptious and super easy to make. Very fresh. I'll go ahead and show you guys what I look like eating it because I love to watch people eat food after the recipe video is over. So, take a little bit of lettuce, put on top for a little bit of extra crunch. Mmm, really hot right now, but super good. Mmm. Yum. So, I really hope you guys try this recipe. It's so good. So I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this and that you make it for you and your kids. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.